What's up, everybody? This is your pal Patrick. I'm back with another Isblab grab bag video. So, the topic of this video, a problem that I ran into and what I did to overcome it. What you're looking at here is a tea light holder that I designed for my wife using an instructional video on how to make a lampshade in Fusion 360. I'll have the link in the description down below. I don't know why I get tongue tied every time I try to say that. But I changed this up just a little bit to facilitate my tea light holding. Watch my jigger. So what I did is I printed two of these and I wanted to print two more with sea turtles. Because my wife loves sea turtles and I'm making these for her. So that's what these are. This is the end result of me overcoming the problem that I had. Let me show you what the problem was. Initially, this was the problem. I only want certain portions of this turtle to be selectable so I can extrude it and use the intersect option so I can make that shape. However, as you can see, a lot of negative space on this side of the turtle is being selected along with the turtle shape that I want. I need to fix that. I go back into Illustrator and if I hit Control Y, I can see the same thing that I saw on the other one. The line is not joined here. Now, I could come here and I could join these together like so if it'll let me there we go I can right click it and say join that'll join the head together however that doesn't really fix the problem in this area here I'd have to zoom in real close and search for it a little more time than I'd like to spend on it so what I wound up doing uh, let me see here control Y is I selected the whole image and I added the stroke. Okay. Now, as you can see, it changed the shape. It made it a little bigger. And I didn't really want the shape to get any bigger. So I tried to go into stroke. And I can't change that. I want to put the line on the inside of the stroke. And it's not selectable. What did I do then? Well, I went to the Shape Builder tool. I held down the Alt button. And I just went in here and took away some negative space here. Just clicked in the areas that I want to be negative space. I don't want it to be a shape. Then I went back and now I can select that. The line is on the inside and if I hit control Y everything's closed up. Is it possible that all I had to do was close up the head portion and everything else would have worked? I don't know. I actually didn't try that. I saw that and I thought man that's going to be too much. I don't want to have to go through all that, so I didn't bother going through all that. That's how I fixed it. I was able to export it as an SVG, and that gave me this turtle here. And now, as you can see, I can select it, extrude it, use the intercept option to just keep that shape, and voila! The difference in what I did here from what was done on the video is the video instructs you to take the shape and extrude it in both directions using the intercept option and then creating, uh, I'm sorry, making a pattern with both shapes going around the object so many times. That wouldn't work for this turtle so I just extruded it in one direction and did the repeating pattern and that's what we have here. Worked out, I'm happy, still haven't been able to print it properly but that's okay. I'll, I'll figure it out sometime. Uh, somehow. I'll figure it out somehow. Thank you for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope I was able to help somebody out. I just wanted to contribute, and I hope I was able to do that for somebody. Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate you guys taking the time. Have a great day. Peace. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> yeah. I'm uh, aging myself here with that comment there, with that goodbye.